Our section of leaders from Central Province under the umbrella Mount Kenya Unity Forum have agreed on four priority areas in which they engage those seeking support from the region. So the leaders representing various political parties from the region who met in Naivasha listed shared positions in appointive positions, equity in resource sharing as some of the irreducible minimums to be, set by, to be met by those seeking votes from their community. And as Chimutai Goin now reports, NAC Kenya Party leader Martha Karua was also unanimously elected as the interim spokesperson for the group. The vote rich Mount Kenya region remains a center of interest for individuals seeking to take over from President Uru Kenyatta when he leaves office next year. And with sharp divisions having caused a tectonic shift in the mountain, a section of leaders under the umbrella of the Mount Kenya Unity Forum converged Naivasha to chart the way forward for the region as jostling ahead of the next elections picks up pace. I've chosen the Honorable Mother Karua to be our official convener and our spokesperson. The forum comprising political leaders from different regions resolving to champion for the equitable sharing of the national cake, saying the region's votes should stand to be counted. During the BBI campaigns, central Kenya leaders rallied behind the one man, one vote, one shilling mantra that trod on population as the index for sharing resources. We want equity in representation. Nobody should stop any community of interest to come together, see together, eat together and articulate their issues. Sources, however, intimate that the meeting was a tactical strategy to increase the region's stakes in catching the eye of a wealthy sweeter. Already, Gatundu South Member of Parliament Moses Kuria has proposed that Central Kenya only support a presidential candidate who will guarantee them a running mate position together with at least 40% of the available positions in government ministries, departments and state agencies. This is beyond the presidential race. It is about permanent community of interest and permanent issues that need to be addressed. And this is not only for this generation, it's for generations to come. The interests of the mountain are paramount to ourselves as we think as Kenyans. And in what appeared to be an indirect attack at D.P. Ruto's United Democratic Alliance that seeks to have all those supporting his state house bid join the UDA fold, the forum said the proposal would stifle democracy. For a very long time, we fought the one-party dictatorship to bring back plural politics in Kenya. That is something we are committed to safeguard. We have seen in the history of our country that monolithic parties become oppressive. The forum is set to draft a blueprint that will be shared with the various like-minded parties and presidential hopefuls as alliances begin to form ahead of the next polls. With regional unity still remaining, a mirage just cracks intensifying the mountain. The Mount Kenya Unity Forum has kick-started an initiative to bring all leaders together, have a unity of purpose and ensure their massive voting bloc counts in 2022. The big question is, will they be successful? Chamutai Goin, Citizen TV, Naivasha.